everybody, my name is Oliver and welcome back to yet another reaction video and today we're checking out a SCP short film live action. Um, this popped up in my recommended a few days ago from the time I'm recording this while I was recording a ton of SCP videos. Expect uh, like a ton of SCP videos this month by the way. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to check this out because it's SCP-049's uh, it's a video a film rather about him and it's a live action and we don't really see too many SCP live action films out there at least from what I've seen because I've only reacted to maybe three to four of those over the years uh, but I wanted to switch this up a little bit and get away from the animation for at least at least today's video um, but I don't know what else to truly say so we're going to go ahead and get right into this in three, two, one, boom. The quality is already high. Crossing SCP. There he is. SCP-049, enter your room. Zero four nine. I'm not gonna tell you again. Enter your room or you'll be forced in. He's hostile. <laughs> I'm liking the design of the costume so far. What's happening? Can you state your name? I'm... I'm Aaron Scott. Hey, wait. wait. Keep your hands under the table. Been some confusion around the Dr. Scott. It says here that uh, he lost his ID badge? No, I, I never got a badge. You were never taken to have an ID badge made when you begin your work here? I, I was, but I never received it. You were found unconscious in an area you're not authorized to be. What do you remember about this morning? I... I was... Uh, I can't remember. What do you remember? I remember last night. I was with Dr. Okay, I'm liking the quality of this so, this so far. What is Dr. Scott... A character from SCP-049's uh, official file, or is this just completely new just for this film? Let me know in the comment section. Williams, I appreciate all that you've done to help me adjust to this new job. Tonight isn't just for you. The foundation is important work, but a demanding profession. Good company helps. I don't drink. Company can do everything on its own. So finally signed and already traumatized. That was fast. Especially from an object with the class designation safe. Let me guess. SCP-7122? How did you know? 22? I have worked at the Foundation for a long time. I was told I couldn't discuss this with anyone outside my team. The burden of this job is holding on to information that the world isn't ready for. You can't do this without a confidant. Mine was my wife before she passed. I'm sorry. Tonight isn't just for you. 7122 is frighteningly unremarkable considering how dangerous it is. The SCP Wait. Foundation discovered it while investigating a rise in strange deaths in Stockholm. It looks like a camera and it functions like one for the most part. But if you photograph a subject and delete the photo, they die. Oh. Instantly. I've read the file. All of this was uncovered before you started. That's true. So, okay. what's bothering you? What breakthrough has the department made? 
we began looking into the metadata of the pictures. We found that if you deleted the metadata without deleting the photo, the subject remained alive, but went into an unrecoverable catatonic state. In the next test, we took pictures of two different subjects. We had each memorize a unique poem, and then we swapped the metadata. So what happened? Please recite your poem. I look into my glass and view my wasting skin and say, would God, it came to pass. They did it swap their consciousness? He started screaming. He began to beat his head against the wall. By the time we got in there, he was already dead. What about the other subject? She had a heart attack. She also expired during the test. My heart had shrunk as thin. Hmm? The end of the poem. But whose poem was it? It was hers. Well... I called it a success. He kept his own head in. They are death row inmates. Are you feeling pity for murderers? My team lost an innocent woman the other day. I guess that's the risk of working with Euclid class objects. Containment is more challenging than safe class, more dangerous. What happened? SCP-049. Good evening, Doctor. Evening, 049. I wanted to ask you about this mission you've referenced. To rid the world of the great dying. The pestilence. You also called it the pestilence. It gets everyone, eventually. He stays contained willingly, provided we allow him to continue his work. His tests wow, are the budget. To some cure. However, you've yet to identify exactly what this pestilence is. But if he thinks you have it, God help you. We need to discuss some things, 049. Are you feeling well, Doctor? I was assigned to take over shortly after we lost Dr. Moore. 049, I'm not gonna tell you again. Enter your room or you'll be forced in. He's hostile. Do you know what SCP stands for? Secure, contain, perfect, contain, protect. And what are we protecting? Humanity. The anomalous artifacts and entities. We are protecting the innocent. You can mourn Dr. Moore, but don't mourn the personnel. If I had to sacrifice a hundred murderers to save an innocent life, I would make the trade every day. Damn. Can you tell me about the accident last year? What? Drunk driving, one dead, three injured. No, 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 I wasn't drinking. There were empty bottles in the car. I wasn't designated. How is this even relevant? Because, Dr. Scott, I'm beginning to wonder how you got this job. You're young, barely qualified, somehow walking around without an ID badge, and now this? I'm not saying another word until somebody here tells me what is going on. What accident? What? Let me guess. SCP-7122? How did you know? What? Oh, <laughs> shit. In the next test, we took pictures of two different subjects. You were never taken to get an IV badge made. When you begin your work here, 
I was, but I never received it. He swapped the data. Holy shit, what a twist. Dr. Scott. That's a William Ed. Oh my god, he want you swapped places with him to see. Thanks, you have it. God help you. I know what he wants. Zero four nine. Wait. Go, go. You stay here. Holy shit. He wanted revenge. March 2nd, 1976. <laughs> he wanted to escape him. Okay, all right. <laughs> that was an interesting way of bringing two SCPs together to create one story. I was not expecting that twist until he started looking at his hands and saw the ring. <laughs> that is weird, man. Oh my gosh, so he swapped his head, no, swapped his mind with the doc, with the new, the new guy from the camera that way he can escape 049. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that that was a good one. So he so he makes him 49 believe that he killed him when in actuality he just killed somebody else and he didn't realize it. Okay. All right. Well, I very much enjoy that. It was short and not too much was physically done with 049, but it was still pretty good. The story for it was really well. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed today's reaction video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Bye.